Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to use the anchor point to create some really cool effects in Final Cut Pro 10, such as this effect. Now, you may look at this effect and say, wait, how in the world did you do that? How did you have it start here and scale up right there? Well, that has to do with the anchor point. Now, I'm going to go over how to create this specific effect. I'm just going to go frame by frame to like, this entire effect. I want to go over kind of the basics of how to just at least create the pop-up effect so let's head over to the example um right here go ahead and just scale it out a little bit right there so if i go ahead and let's go ahead and click on this clip right here now if i go ahead and just change the scale right here actually i'll go ahead and open this up first as you can see right here um here is the anchor point so i'm gonna go ahead and just reset um everything right there go ahead and rescale it to 125. so as you can see right here here is the anchor point right here this is the anchor point right there now if i scale it right here look where it scales it scales to that anchor point right there so it scales right where that anchor point is right there and as you can see right here the rotation it rotates around that anchor point right there so if you want to have a scale from up here or you want to kind of have it like rotate up like this you have to change the anchor point. So if I click on the transform tool right here, you wanna to go to anchor point right here and you wanna watch this little thing right here. So let's go ahead and just move the X, kind of wanna center it right here, and that's gonna move the Y right there. Just keep messing with it right here. And we want the anchor point to be right about there. Now as you can see, well, then how, do I, how do I get it back into its position? Well, what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead, if you'll go ahead and just scale to 50%, you wanna go ahead and just bring it back into place. Uh, you wanna bring it back into place right there. And you probably wanna scale it up just a little bit, just to make sure there's no borders right here. So we'll scale it up right about there. So as you can see, there we go. Now if I go ahead and scale it, as you can see now, see where the um, anchor point is right here. Now it's scaling to that anchor point um, right there. Just the same thing if I rotate it. If I rotate, as you can see right here, it's rotating around that anchor point right there. So you need to just adjust the anchor point and then you'll bring it back into position, scale it up just to make sure it fits the entire um, frame right there. Okay, so how in the world do you create a freeze frame out of this? Well, what I did, the first idea I had when I tried to create this was I went ahead and just clicked on option F to create a freeze frame. But you don't want to do that because if I do that, the freeze frame and this clip are going to be you know, um, offset a little bit. The scale of the position isn't going to be exact. And if you're creating a freeze frame, everything needs to be perfectly in place or else you're going to see like the frame kind of jump a little bit. So what you want to do is instead of uh, holding option F, you want to click on the clip right here on the first frame. Go Go to the speed time right there hold uh, click on hold right there now you want to scroll until you find this right here and then you want to just click off uh, what you want to just blade the part where it's frozen and then click on Control d and we'll just type in 10 frames right there so this is set to um 10 frames right here so let's go ahead and just click the click the freeze frame right there i'm just going to uh, command r so as you can see right here go ahead and play right here it's frozen right there and then boom and it jumps right back into the second clip right there and as you can see right here the anchor point the scale the position everything is exactly the same right here the anchor point the scale and position they're the exact same clips now if something gets messed up and the anchor point gets messed up you can just click on the clip right here click on command c and then go over here and shift command v to paste the anchor point the scale and the position because like i said before, like I said before the scale anchor point position have to be the same for this clip as well as for this clip right here so you see the clip doesn't shift at all so if I go ahead and click on the clip right here I'll go ahead and just um, apply a draw mask right here so I'll go over to mask right here just apply a draw mask right there and you know what? for the sake of the video I'll just make you know like an outline um, selection right there so I'll go to 50% right here and I'll just make you know like a rough a very very uh, rough um, outline selection um, right there so you can see there we go just gonna want to go over the basics of how to create the effect so if I go ahead and head over here to the rotation as you can see right here it rotates right there so let's go ahead and let's just type in I don't know let's go ahead um, right here and maybe let's rotate it 
um, rotate it just a little bit. Let's say I want to rotate it right here. So to 180, keyframe the rotation, and then go to the end of the clip right here. And then we can change the rotation to 0%. So as you can see right here, the clip will just rotate into place um, right there. So go ahead and play it right here. As you can see right there, there we go. It rotates into place. Obviously, that might be a little too fast. You can, of course, you know, make it slower, faster. But there we go. That's how you rotate um, the clip, uh, the uh, the clip right there. So that's just one way to do it. That's how you rotate it um, around a specific angle. Because if I had the uh, anchor point right here, it would just rotate around the anchor point. Now I can have it rotate right here. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and just change the duration of this to 15 frames right there. So if I go ahead and play the clip right here. There we go. It's at 15 frames. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change. Remember, remember where the scale is first. Change the scale to zero right here. Now I'm going to go to the end of the clip right here i'm going to change it back to 135 right there so if you see right here as you see there we go the scale is going right about there it's starting from the anchor point right there um and there you go that's how you create this really cool kind of scale effect right there as you can see there we go kind of scales in right there obviously you no know, it's not perfect draw mask but as you can see there we go it scales in right there so it's kind of like a pop in it'll scale from the bottom right there which i think is a really cool effect it's definitely a really you know, interesting effect and unique effect. So I'm going to head over here to the anchor point tutorial right there. I'm just going to go ahead and just open up this compound clip. Now granted, when you're doing a freeze frame, you want to add some motion blur with keyframing right there. So I'm going to go ahead and just head over right here. I'm just going to kind of go frame by frame over how I created this effect. So you can see right here, um, this is at negative 300, this is at negative 600, these are below the clips. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. As you can see, the first one comes up, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The second one comes up um, right there, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 right there, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I just kind of want to go over how to create it. Now the negative five hundred, uh, negative three hundred is the middle, and the negative six hundred is the third one, the, the biggest one. And all I just did was I basically just increased the scale right here, so you can see the scale is being keyframed right there. So if I go to the end here, where this one clip, uh, when I scaled it up. To 130, I mean, not 135, 200, and this one should be scaled to like 160 um, right there. So you can, of course, you know, mess with them and uh, the different scales until you get the look that you want right there. And as you can see right here, there you go. You would create this really cool effect. I saw like the uh, Frito Bang. Uh, music, uh, music video right there. So there you go. That's pretty much how you create the um, uh, effect right there. All the anchor point, all basically all the anchor point is, is you're basically just figuring out where you want something to rotate around. So the, the anchor point's right here. So it's gonna rotate around that anchor point, or it's gonna scale around that anchor point. So it's just a different look. It depends on what look you're trying to achieve. But sometimes you don't just want it rotating around the middle or just scaling from the middle. Sometimes you want scaling in from the top, the bottom, all those different things. The, the only way to achieve that look is with an anchor point. Uh, that's pretty much it. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 210 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.